Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap an inspiring Korean comedy film released in 2015, called, You Call It Passion. An intern journalist just found out about the hardship of the news field. She slowly reveals the dark side of the entertainment world and becomes torn apart. Will she be able to stay upright? Let's find out together. Rahi is a fresh graduate who just got a job at Dongmyong Agency as an intern journalist. Not only Rahi, but several other people are also accepted. One of them is Rahi's friend at university named Jin. On the first day of work, they are introduced to the division they will occupy. Jin is placed in the photography department, while Rahi is placed in the entertainment department. It is a department headed by a cranky man, Mr. J. His scary attitude is illustrated by the shouts and harsh words that are thrown when he is on the phone. The atmosphere is surely getting more uncomfortable as she is nervous for her first day. She just stands near the table of the entertainment department and sees an injured senior journalist in her department named Wu. He seems to be injured by the bodyguard of a famous artist, Han. Mr. J tells him to sue their agency. But since Wu also recorded them illegally, he'll surely lose. Thus he just let it go. Mr. J gets mad and throws mud at Han's advertisement clip on TV. It sounds like he has personal issues with Han. It's her first time meeting Mr. J and his first impression is surely not the best one. He explains that, as an intern, she'll work overtime with no weekends. Her salary isn't great either. In other words, Mr. J warns Rahi that working in this department will be tough, and she needs to be passionate. Rahi's innocent character and Mr. J's decisiveness makes the atmosphere odd and funny. After that, Mr. J tells Wu to mentor Rahi and train her in the field of journalism. After work, Rahi meets Jin on her way to dinner with the other interns. Rahi wonders why Jin applied for an internship when he got an award in photography. He even can open his own studio with his achievement. Jin answers that what he needs now is work experience. When they arrived at the eatery, they chat more about their hard life as an intern. Jin keeps his eye on Rahi and shows his concern for Rahi by protecting her from drinking any alcohol because she is alcohol intolerant. In the early morning the next day, Mr. J calls Rahi to investigate the recent car accident of a boy band called Yukis. Rahi immediately rushes to the hospital. The reporters go wild because they had not got any information about the Yukis accident yet. Suddenly one of the doctors passes by and is caught off guard. The reporters immediately held him up for an interview. She directly reports every information that she gets to Mr. J. But her information is far from enough. Mr. J scolds her and tells her to meet the manager of the injured Yukis member. Fortunately, she bumps into her senior back from the university. Her name is Chai, a reporter from a different agency. Chai explains that she once worked at Rahi's agency, so she understands that working under Mr. J is full of demands and helps Rahi to find the manager. Rahi approaches the manager quickly and asks for the information that Mr. J wants. But, Rahi never gets it in detail. So, Mr. J scolds her again. Rahi's second day is way tougher than she thinks. She decides to take a break and have a small breakfast in the hospital hallway. A reporter is live just beside her, and Rahi's tired face is broadcasted on TV. Yet again, Mr. J calls and yells to get back to her job. The tired Rahi mumbles as she instinctively shouts back to Mr. J. Everyone in the office laughs at her carelessness. The next day, J.S., as Han's management, announced that Han would get a leading role in a film shot in America. Mr. J asks Wu to cover the upcoming film briefing. But Wu refuses it because Han's bodyguard already knows him, so he definitely can't get close to Han. Because of that, Mr. J assigns Rahi to sneak there and find dirt about Han. Rahi hesitantly refuses as she wants to accuse Han over nothing significant. This long debate leads Mr. J to ask Wu to mentor Rahi again. Wu emphasizes that Rahi knows nothing about what happened in the past, so she should keep quiet and listen to the chief. This forces Wu to do the job anyway. The next task for Rahi is to interview a newly debuted boy band. The leader of the boy band says that the management heavily restrains them. Their manager only thinks about profit. Rahi is very concerned and writes the controversial interview results. When the article is published, the director of the agency immediately calls Mr. J. But, Rahi picked up the phone. She doesn't even recognize the director's voice and acts cheeky instead. 
Later, the director orders Mr. J to fire the one who writes on such a controversial topic. He feels that the article is too subjective, which jeopardizes the existence of the entertainment department. Mr. J strongly disagrees. He doesn't want to fire someone just because of a controversial article. Although Mr. J is rough, he seems to care for his subordinate. But of course, he scolds Rahi and gives a shameful punishment to her to greet every senior in the office. In the night, all of the employees come for dinner together. Rahi joins in a toast and unconsciously drinks the alcohol. Surely, the alcohol intolerant Rahi gets drunk so hard. After dinner, Jin carries Rahi to her house. When Rahi wakes up the next day, she is shocked because Jin is in her room. Jin explains that Rahi got drunk so hard last night, and she forced Jin to stay at her house. But he made sure nothing happened between them, at least not without her consent. But Rahi actually doesn't mind, so they start dating. Today, Mr. J teaches Rahi how to write better. He always carefully checks Rahi's work. As a result, Rahi has to revise her writing too many times. Mr. J also tired of reading it and yelling at her. He ended up asking Rahi to stop writing and go home. It is another tiring day for Rahi, but she has to keep working because the bills are piling up. On the following day, Rahi comes to the office very early in the morning and picks up the call from the informant and immediately connects to Mr. J. The informant gives a tip about Han being attacked near his house and treated at a hospital. Mr. J and Wu feel that this news looks fishy. Han is always surrounded by bodyguards and security. It's impossible for anyone to attack him. This is a possible exclusive headline if they can uncover the truth. The only available personnel is Rahi, so she has to go there alone. A lot of reporters gather around looking for information about Han. When Rahi tries to join the crowd, Chai suddenly pulls her out. Chai says that there's no point in joining the crowd. For that reason, Chai has an idea to injure her feet so they can easily go to the hospital and sneak into Han's room. Two security guards guard Han's room. Chai decides to lure them to make a chance for Rahi to enter the room. Surprisingly, this stupid plan works out perfectly. Han is surprised to see a reporter in his room. But he actually looks chill and fine. Before Rahi had time to interview Han, a woman rushed to the room. Han immediately hides Rahi and acts like no reporter came in. The woman is the CEO of JS Management, CEO Jam. She is in charge of Han's entire schedule. She meets Han to say that he got the lead role and will go to America to shoot. Suspiciously, Han doesn't look happy. Maybe he is forced into it for profit? There is an intense debate between CEO Zhang and Han. When the CEO Zhang left Han's room, Han immediately spills about the relationship between him and other artists to Rahi. He asks Rahi to publish the scandal even though it negatively impacts him. She doesn't understand the reason but hesitantly takes the information. But she is not sure what to do with that information. When Rahi arrives at the office, she lies and explains that Han had bruises just like after being attacked. Mr. J argues that there must be something big hidden behind this issue and scolds her. Wu takes Rahi to the rooftop to calm her down and explains that Mr. J is the only person who fights for the entertainment division. Nowadays, many free online news sites have become their rival. So they have to give something good to survive. Wu agrees that Mr. J is a weirdo, but Rahi should respect him. Rahi is in a dilemma because she isn't sure if it's okay to publish the scandal. Long story short, following her colleague's advice, she ends up publishing it anyway. This article is a success and becomes her first exclusive report. After work, Rahi and her co-workers get together for dinner to celebrate. They discuss the news that Mr. J covered a long time ago. At that time, there was a confession of a woman who came to Mr. J stating that she had been harassed sexually by Han. The case has already been brought to court, but the lawsuit was dropped after the woman disappeared. Mr. J suffers a big loss and skipped a promotion because of it. This is the background story of why Mr. J hates Han and has a bad relationship with his agency. On the next day, CEO Zhang becomes concerned by Rahi's news. She invites Mr. J and Rahi to have dinner together. Let's just say that they are trying to buy out Mr. J and his department to cover good things on them. They plan to do an exclusive interview after Han is done with the movie shooting in US. This makes the relationship between Mr. J and CEO Zhang improve. But will Mr. J sells his integrity for a couple of golden statues? Over time, some of the interns resign.
So does Wu after he gets into a heated argument with Mr. J. Wu chose to live a peaceful life by becoming a barista at a cafe. Not long after Wu's resignation, Rahi is appointed as a permanent employee. Sadly, Jin also decided to resign because he received an offer from his senior to work together as a photographer in Manhattan. It turns out that Han and CEO Zhang is not in a good relationship. Han goes missing in the middle of the movie shoot and is rumored on planning to leave JS management. Han even scheduled a press conference behind CEO Zhang to announce it. But CEO Zhang will not let him go just like that. After all, he is the golden goose that makes JS management big money. CEO Zhang goes to Mr. J and gives a file about Han's past sexual harassment case to bury Han's plan to leave. It will be exclusive news so Mr. J gladly accepts it. The rising star Rahi is tasked to compile the evidence CEO Zhang gave and writes an article. After some investigation, Rahi finds some discrepancies and thinks that CEO Zhang fabricated them. After knowing about it, Rahi refuses to publish the article and explains the situation to Mr. J. This makes Mr. J not sure what to do and tells Rahi to go to Han's press conference. When the press conference is about to start, all of the reporters are shocked by newly released news about Han's new sexual harassment evidence. It turns out Mr. J decided to write an article about it himself. This makes the journalist's attention is drawn into that matter and make Han unable to announce his leave from JS management. This forces Han to stop the press conference early and leave the scene. When he tries to leave, his car suddenly gets into an accident. When Rahi returns to the office, she has a fierce debate with Mr. J about it. But Mr. J explains that as reporters they can only publish what they get, not investigate it because they are not police. It's hard for Rahi to accept Mr. J's arguments. Knowing this Rahi tries to generate her own plan. She understands that all these controversies are CEO Jiang's game to exploit Han and writes an article about it. Although Mr. J and the other employee like the idea, the director forbids them to publish it. It looks like CEO Jiang has friends in high places that will make this hard. Feeling defeated, Rahi tries to confront CEO Jiang at her press conference. But she looks like a weirdo, accusing her without any proof. Unknown to her, Mr. J and the other employee has a brilliant plan. Instead of publishing the article under their agency, they spread the article on social media. It quickly spread and become viral. The other journalist becomes aware of it and starts to press CEO Zhang too. This time, she can't dodge the matter anymore. The story ends with the news about the truth of Han's exploitation case being revealed and the CEO Zhang is arrested because of it. What do you think about CEO Zhang's dirty game? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Thank you for watching, and as always, see you next time.